No! It's happening! No! No! Ah! Let me... Give me that milk! Ah. Go to the next post and pound that in. The second I get a chance, I'm gonna stab you. Want this? This is supposed to be for Susan. Before she got shot by f***ing Micah Bell, you stupid f you, you stupid go so you so uh, I just got done playing Red Dead Redemption 2, beating the game, which <sighs> it was a uh, it was a bittersweet ending. But now we're in the epilogue and we're playing with John Marston. The reason I'm recording this video right after the last one, I said I was gonna ask you guys, which this is a Hail Mary. This video may never go up, who knows? But I realize I'm a farmer right now and I don't have any guns. And I'm gonna wanna play this game in between editing. So I have to figure something out right now, okay? So let's play. R.I.P. Susan too. And R.I.P. Dot. And R.I.P. Bruce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a farmer. Arthur would be so proud of me. Give me a... Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch. Them calling me Milton is so. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. Simple no, pleasures. Geddes, pleased to meet you. John, Jim, Milton. Is this you serious? <laughs> For the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You got somewhere to say. Jim, extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. We got me doing on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Oh, yeah. Do mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, I beat them. We, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife. Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Wait! Be wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Oh, she figured out. <laughs> Trying to be a good person. This farm life isn't for me. I'm going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that. I can go to Blackwater now. It's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well. It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Just a ranch hand. I a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, 
I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. I'm gonna get earbuds, bro, because I don't like these things, bro. Look, you hear that? You hear that plastic? These cost like twenty dollars. I'm cheap. I'm not gonna say anything, but they don't even fit on my ear. A bunch of women here did most of the milking, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, Mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down. I'll show you how. Approach your calm now. Conversating over Don't milk and horses. Let me. Ah, 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 ah. Give me the milk. Ah, ah. Yeah, I don't like milk. Milk is a. Uh... Yeah, I don't like how it, the consistency of milk. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. Hey. We're gonna make it. Thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, Jim. partner. Come on. We all gotta earn our How about our you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. So when do we get free time? I know we, we just started working, but I just want to figure out, you know. Now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. E twelve. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got. I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Thanks a lot. It ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens. The people I've killed around here. Said, we'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm hmm. I've killed so many people. I remember shooting somebody in the face right there. Okay. Well, you get them. Oh, they're going to be moving shit. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just. Try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. I'll respect the people that like do this. Cause I'm so squirmish. Long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you don't even know about that. You probably just, dang. Does he really have no memory of that? Cause I don't remember nothing I was like four. What was he? Probably like five. He's 12 now. He said a few years. Few years usually like three. But he didn't look no nine. Let's go. Nice stuff, son. Look at this horse shit. <laughs> Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Hey man, you like that damn name? Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. <sighs> Maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. Well, I'll put some coffee on. <sighs> See now this look like an outfit I can rock with. Where is my hat? Hey, a hey, mother hey, where's my hat? I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm here. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. 
Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I mean, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. You gonna freaky? Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Hey, Duncan. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Are you a little boy? Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Yeah. Whoa. And it's gone. Are you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. You done? Come on. Hey, hey now. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm gonna punch you in the throat. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat. Easy okay. there. Okay, I'll wait in the corral. Can I get a bow or something at least? I feel naked. Wait, am oh, I was talking about the wrong place. This is where I killed all these people. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? Now, can't this horse ain't even giving me no back talk. Oh, his. Oh, oh, dang. He. Oh, oh, dang. This horse. Oh, he's tired, tired. I'm back, Duncan. That's Abe. My fault. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, get your. What are you two doing? Are you. What? All right. Oh! He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Am I supposed to be worried about that? Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. I ain't never gonna hop on a horse. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. See the old me? You kick me, I shoot you in the face, but I'm a farmer right now. You need one, but you sure there ain't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. My foot is numb. All right, how many times about to do this, bro? I'm getting dizzy. Bro, I don't even got a a a a, a yeehaw. I thought you were gonna help me. I, My uh, fault. I was. I'm sorry. Come on, I need a man's help. 
All right. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. you, Mr. Milton. Gotcha. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Look at the balls on that one. It's over here. So what are we doing over here? So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Man, pull. Oh, it's happening. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but... My wife is expecting me back. <laughs> You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. See? Of course. Good day. A man like me? <laughs> hey, man. Let's go now. Not with a wife, of course, and a kid. Definitely not. But I'm saying if I was Arthur, I'm about to give you some of that Sunny D. <laughs> <laughs> so they're in an the open relationship, I'm pretty sure. That's cool. Do what you do. Hey John. Oh. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Wait, that's a pony? My whole wait. Fine. Can we go home? <laughs> Bro. No. You're stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. <laughs> the horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Now let's uh. slow it down. Whoa, boy. Oh, brother. I'm trying to go as fast. Speed it up again. Okay. Come on. Ha! Ha! Let's go faster. Faster, come on. Faster? What's happening? All right. Wait. Easy there. Easy there. Whoa! 
All right. <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. Where are you going? You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. See, you're better man than me, Jack. I would have shot the horse. All right. Let's go again. Let's bring up the pace again. All right. Ha! Let's go to two. Go even quicker. If you say so, sir. All right. Yeah. And then we'll just stay at this speed. This is not the speed that I thought we'd be at. Can we? Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. There we go. This is a decent speed. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Too much? Too much? We good? We good. That's all I like to see. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Slow now. I feel like I've hunted something out here. I've definitely hunted something out here. What exactly? I don't know. Maybe a bear? Cougar? Was it sheep? Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! You're not beating me. You suck. I'm cheating. <laughs> you slow. Be better, son. You're a disappointment. Well read, son. You won. This time. Whoa. And I win every time. We both rode hard. And you're riding? It's gotten a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. Hey. Yo, is there a problem, kid? Do I have to punch you in your throat? Don't be a sore loser. Be a winner. How about that? You won't have to be a sore loser. Ma'am, there's a there's a child in here. I'll get the coffee on. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Hey, Pa. This the lie? Three damn dollars. Three fucking dollars. I'm gonna fucking end it. I'm gonna kill you. Does any, can I go for food or something? I would rather hunt. Do you need food? Are you hungry? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence. Can't milk a cow. Ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. I hear building fences and stuff. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Oh my. Headset audio just freaked out. Put it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Dog, are you in? Don't dawdle. 
Now, lift up the other side. I gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Do you really got me making a fence right now? Good. This is worse than farming simulator. Okay. I used to play so much farming simulator when I was a kid. I love some I love farming simulator. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. The second I get a chance, I'm gonna stab you. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Jim Milton, over here. I got a fence to build. Oh, brother. Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Gettys, this it is feels. Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Come on. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, oh. Oh, shit. I'll get him. There we go, I got a lasso. I gotta build that. No, you don't. Ah! No, you don't. Stop! Stop, please. Come on. I'm going to lose my job. Bro. No, no. Ah, calm your mic. Wait. Wait. How am I going to calm this thing down? You don't look like you're going to wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. There, there. There, there. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. They over there just yapping. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> oh, that's not fine. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Why are they on the horses like that? You look too fine nailed up on that wall. This is private property. Mr. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. I don't like this. Oh, he tried me. You really tried me. It's like that, huh? It is like that. Till I get my damn hat back. Stupid. Yeah. Getty spends on women, saves on hands. Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> Mr. Oh boy. One, two, you need help. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jim Milton, get off that man. Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. 
Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Are you insane? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Don't you be mad at me, Abigail. Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Bro, what is wrong with you? You want me to stand there and let that kid die? He wasn't gonna die, but... I'm trying to be a good guy. The fence ain't even built. Come on. Is there a ghost? We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I don't remember him saying that. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Thank you, it's such a hood. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good, good night, pal. Damn. What was that? What are you what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. They got Tom. It's over. I need a gun. <laughs> Think this is. Who's this? New hand. The coat. Oh. Oh. You're that tough guy. Yup. Stop. Stop talking. Stop talking to me. Weave. Stop talking to me. 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 Hey, I need a gun immediately. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. Let me in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh! What the hell are these weapons? <laughs> I'll lead the way. Is that Arthur's hat? Yes, sir. I got my guns now. I should end the episode right here. No way they stay over here. We're off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. 
If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. They about to look at me different after this. Yeah. My beer's fully in too. Your guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't play no games. Hey, hey, you boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle and to teach some manners to all. I'm so used to having the best guns. Who is this fella? Is that a different sound? Am I tripping? What the heck is that shotgun? Look out, Tom. Let me deal with this. Who? That's right. Dead to the body. Dead to the face. Dead to the. Uh, 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 okay. Yep. <laughs> got this. You boys take the cattle. See you back there, son. Where are you, big fella? Why would you attack me and not shoot me, you dump? Get off me. No, 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 no. Try to shoot him like three times. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the stink of you off of Yeah, they probably wanted me to save him or something. Uh, I'm not that guy, partner. They're about to leave Arthur's hat. You got me messed up. My wife will not be happy about this, guys. If we can keep it to I was shooting air, I had the worst aim ever. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now. I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Come on, Abigail. Stop. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what choice did I have? Just answer me that. Bro, you are annoying me. What was I supposed to do? Every time I do something. I can't live a life like this.
just do one thing or another. Not be too. Now nah, remember that. That's all I'm saying. One thing or another. Oh, let me make some. Let me milk, let me milk this cow real quick. I get some honor for that. No, sir. No honor for that. All right, I'm just milking cows now. I guess it is my job. Hey, Abigail. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know, undertakers like me, cattle. Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my <laughs> I know I know all about that every time we about to get somewhere make something you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton every place we've been it's been the same we start doing okay and then boom you act like the big man with the gun I'm tired John and I guess I was dreaming a little at least give me that just feels hopeless you're doing better Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I, I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Yeah, why this thing built like this? Of Where's the width? Why is it so long? It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Just like me. Just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? Maybe. I what I had to do to protect you. Oh, wait, there's Panthers on. Wait. Oh, while well, responsible Jack, you will not be able to. All right. Ma said there's cougars in this. Or something? Hey, Ma. Was wrong about that. You sure we should take it Here. so fast? Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. There's cougars in this. <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, cougars well, usually spawn right there. What do I do? Or just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Right up there. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And bear spawn a little bit back there. If you want to turn. Cougar, cougar, Here. cougar. Right no cougar. All right. Had to learn the spawn so I can do the hunter challenge or whatever it's called. Weapon expert. One of the other. One of the other. That's enough for now. Back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. Just like Lenny. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. I trust you not to drive off with it. Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. John don't even know like me and Micah really killed everybody in here. All right, here we are. Micah really killed Susan. That's some. All right, son. Sure. But cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi, I'm here to name. My name, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston, John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, 
John Marston. Marston... Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. We gonna die. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. He's, oh, he's and watching now, us. I'll give my regards to Gettys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa, you, okay, whoa, okay. you got too much dip on your chip. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Hey, it ain't. You take the reins a little. Where'd he go? I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Ain't that the wrong way? Oh, wait, I don't even know where we are. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Sl fast. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. What's that dude staring at us? Yeah. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Don't slow down. down. Don't slow it down. I don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's speed this up. Pick up the pace a bit. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay, I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right, huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, <laughs> are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on, quick, now. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move. Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. You kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Kill him! Hey! <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. 
Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. All right. I need you to hold it together. You're going so fast. Whoa. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. God, he's about to have a panic attack. On the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. I wonder how pterodons had sex. Or Spinos. Are Spinos real? Spinos seem scary. Okay, here we are. How do you even like get on that the was an, uh, eventful trip? Go say hi to your mother. How was the Dang <laughs> What happened? Yeah. It's, I don't, we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then we... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... Was your dress that caused all the problem? It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. My life sucks. <laughs> Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. I, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. What the hell do you want? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Sadie? Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Why is he saying stop? Katie Adler. I'll be damned. Is that wait, why is he I think he's saying stop? <laughs> Abigail. The letter? And I hope it ain't a letter that I think is about to be. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. It is a story. You don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. What am I supposed Even to do? Love you, Let him kill me? It means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... 
part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. <laughs> What is that? <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. I don't find you funny. What'd she do? <laughs> Catch you with a showgirl? We hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work? Wait! What? Give me them titties, girl. <laughs> Brother, few months later you took the kids for that long well, that's her fool hey you know i was wrong about you turned into a fine worker jim milton oh thank you means a lot hey you think i could speak with mr gettys see if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance no, i'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least thank you mr dickens Do I got money now? I'm still broke. My wife left. Can I shoot people? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Or you could yes, buy it for me. I'm sure, it'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. What? I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. 
Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Yeah! Oh, I got my stuff. Wait, that was my sniper. I got my gun. All right, I'm pretty sure I have the map unlocked again, so I can actually uh, do stuff. So I'm done here. Uh, let me know if you want to see me play Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, I don't know if this video is even out. I don't know if this video ever comes out. If not, then I'm talking to myself. And I want to say we did it. We finally beat Red Dead Redemption 2, Jax. Good job. If you want to support me on any other social media, I got a TikTok, I got a YouTube Shorts, and I got an Instagram. You should go follow me on there. And if you're really feeling special, Twitter too. But I don't post, so don't expect anything. But that's that. You guys have a great, wonderful, magnificent day. Peace out.